guys, it's me, Sydney, and welcome back to my channel. Here's another video for my summer series, and I wasn't even planning on filming it, but you guys, I watched Trisha Paytas' new video, and I think the title I have it on my phone is We Broke Up Because I'm Too Fat. And I want you guys to know, okay, like, <laughs> low-key, part of the video that she had, I was like, feeling really sad for her, and I felt like I could relate to certain parts. Um, I but like i want to break it down for you guys and i kind of want to talk about it and i feel like this is something that like a lot of people struggle with but they don't know how to voice and they deal with and, and i mean trisha is someone that i think is so strong like she's probably not watching this but any of you who can relate to this or feel the same way that she is you have to remember that you're beautiful you're happy you're healthy like you have to remind yourself those things and not let what other people say get you down. As someone who does YouTube, I'm definitely not as big as Trisha. I probably could not handle how many negative comments she receives, how many trolls that she has, and how many people pick on you for things that are so irrelevant, but then they pick on the things that they know are your insecurities as well. So I guess like what I wanna do is, first of all, I wanna go into the fact that like, in the video, we're gonna recap kind of the video. I only got through uh, 12 minutes and there's 18 minutes, but, so, and I want to give you guys some backstory on like why I really relate to this video. So first of all, the whole recap of the video is Trisha posted a video um, and she's crying, but she's not hysterical. She's deaf. She's not on her kitchen uh, floor, which is her typical space. And she's not bashing Jason really in the video. Like she's not saying anything besides how she's affected by his comments and stuff like that. And I mean... I can definitely relate to that and I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now like I just got out of a relationship a little while ago and the whole time he would he would tell me like things I like were stupid he wouldn't say that like my body was bad I'm, uh, I'm 200 pounds right now I'm probably the heaviest I've been in a while and I can relate to Trisha and that and in her video she was saying that she's kind of you know she's big she has never had anyone tell her she was fat in person and they were filming a sizzle reel and he said that during the interview and it really hurt her and I mean, I can relate to that too, like, maybe not the whole someone saying fat to my face and having it hurt me, because like, that would hurt, but I haven't had that happen to me, especially someone that I love and like, someone that's my significant other. And he wasn't saying it in a malicious way, but he wouldn't take it back for her, and I think that's what hurt her the most, because she's very insecure about that. He would make comments about her diet, her food, and just stuff like that, so that's kind of the main thing, and then they ended up breaking up, and at VidCon, she decided, you know what, I'm not going to make any more YouTube videos until I lose 50 pounds. And, I mean, do I think that that's the best idea? Yes and no. And the reason that I say that is because, like, I guess the main reason for her posting that video is to tell people that she and Jason broke up, but then she's not, she's going on a break from YouTube until she loses 50 pounds. And, I mean, as someone who's lost 55 pounds, it does not happen overnight. It took me eight months to lose it the healthy way. And... I was working out, I was eating really well, and I really wasn't on YouTube either. And I can I can tell, like Trisha's probably not watching this. Like I'm the smallest YouTuber ever, but if any of you guys are struggling with this, um, I'm talking to you. Like one of the biggest things that I had to focus on was myself and you know, having all those back, the things in the background when you're working on building that journey, like I would say give yourself mo a few months to really build the balance and be able to take something out of it and if Trisha I know you're probably not watching this but if you are maybe don't do the 50 pound goal do something that's smaller so that then when you are balanced you can come back to YouTube and do what you love because honestly like if you love YouTube and you love doing something don't take it out of your life until you hit a goal because then you're just going to be causing yourself either an eating disorder or you're gonna over exercise and then you're gonna gain it all back because it's not a balance it's like only that and then you're adding YouTube in and you're not able to handle it and I mean this is coming from someone who like loves your videos loves you and um, yeah but like there's a few other things that I want to talk about in this because I think that it's really important so the first thing is in Trisha's video she said that she's always felt pretty and this is why she doesn't feel pretty now and she's very self-conscious about being in photos and I think as someone who's like on social media, like anyone who's on social media, you know, you want the best picture of yourself out there. 
it hurts for me to see her hurting like that because I know, like, I stopped caring about the best photo with my friends. Like, I really don't care. I tell them, I take like, ten, you know, five or ten with them, right? Someone just do, 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 do. And then I'm like, here's your phone back. And then they literally just post the one that they look the best in and I probably look the worst in. And I really don't care at this point. But when I'm very insecure, I want the best photo. And I get that. Like, Trisha, you're not alone. I mean, there's probably a ton of other people out there who are the same way the other thing too is you know like in all honesty you guys watching Jason Jason and Trisha I really did not think that they were gonna stay together and the reason behind that was because I feel like I am a lot like Trisha I'm very sensitive um, you guys see I post crying videos too I'm not always on the kitchen floor crying but at the same time like she's an open book I'm an open book and what I've realized is like when I watch her videos I connect with her like I feel like the last relationship that I just had like I was fucking crazy at certain points and I can be the first one to admit that like I had never seen that side of myself come out and that's when I really realized like I connected with other people on another level because I was like I'm never gonna be that crazy bitch I was definitely that crazy bitch but what I saw with Jason and Trisha is she was a totally different person she was very leveled out and great and just like less emotional but what i saw was like she was constantly being in like david dobrik's vlogs and, and all of those people like they were fun but like when the jokes are continuous about being called old um being called you know she wasn't really called fat but like you know there's a ton of other, other uh, there's a ton of other jokes that were said that you know they really hurt they dig after a while and i really feel like when I was watching that, I didn't think that she was going to continue um, being with him or being in the videos at least because it's just really hard. When you're someone that's sensitive, like I know Trisha is and even me, like if I would have had someone say that to me, it probably would have hurt. Like I don't take jokes very well, I don't take sarcasm very well, I'm the last person you would ever want to make a joke to. My dad has made me cry on multiple occasions for jokes that he's made that were purely jokes. But the thing that I think is different is Comparing it to someone that won't apologize for it and doesn't really want to take it back Which is what Jason did to Trisha like that fucking hurts when someone that you love won't take that back That hurts and I mean I'm gonna relate it back to the relationship that I just went through He would always tell me that stuff that I liked was stupid and a lot of the time he wouldn't take it back He's like well, that's just my opinion and he would just d degrade like whatever I liked he would degrade and that's where I think it became, becomes toxic like whether it's that or it's what Trisha is dealing with with her body weight her she is dating a man she's intimate with this guy and he is literally telling her that she is overweight she is fat he is insecure about this as well she has never told him those things and yet he knows that she doesn't want him to talk about her diet or anything like that but he says that and he says that on a sizzle reel of all things then he doesn't take it back later on. I think that's like the most hurtful thing that you can do to someone when you don't say sorry, you don't take it back, like you don't have any remorse for it. I think that personally, like not going too far into Jason's relation or Jason and Trisha's relationship, if he's like that, I really see a lot of my ex in Jason. And that sounds really weird, but like I see like the whole no remorse, I see the whole you kind of check out when you don't have remorse anymore and you don't care enough about what the other person thinks to want to make things right and apologize even if it's you know a genuine apology about their feelings and you you still feel that way like i just feel like i feel like it's a sick thing to do honestly and i feel like it's something that like trisha should not have to go through she has been through so much you guys she dated sean and he treated her like shit she's had lamps thrown at her she's had other things thrown at her she's been spit on i'm pretty sure and like so many other things have happened and in the past she was a stripper like she has been through the fucking ringer and then she meets a guy that she is very stable with from what it looks like and you know it's not constantly up and down up and down but she's like being put through these little emotional digs throughout the relationship i just feel like him not having remorse for something that like everyone knows trisha struggles with like she loves her body she tries to embrace it she is you know overweight and i'm gonna be honest with you guys like if i had the opportunity to be trisha's friend i would love to be her friend because i feel like even being 18 and her being i think she's 30 or she's turning 30 but 
being 18 and having to lose that 55 pounds it was fucking hard you guys and doing youtube at the same time and not being as big as her like i feel like i i feel like i know what she's going through in a smaller sense but at the same time you know the coping mechanisms that you get from that you have to keep and they can be applied to anything no matter how big or small it is and like i just really hope that trisha gets the help and you know the people in her life that she deserves because she deserves people that are going to care about her people that are going to want to be in her life and not trash her or make her feel bad and i mean part of it is insecurities like he probably did not have the intent to like her make her feel like super shitty but he didn't apologize he didn't have remorse so clearly there is a little bit of like i don't give a fuck at this point and a checkout in the relationship where they're done so, I mean, this is, I guess this is a message to anyone that's dealing with this, whether you're on social media, like you're, an ins you just have 100 followers on Instagram, or you have a million, or you're Trisha Paytas, or whoever the fuck you are. If you're trying to reach your health goals, and you're with a partner that is telling you things, like, I really think that if you're trying to reach your health goals, unless you two are doing it together, like, it is not gonna happen a lot of the time. Um... I gained some weight. I still have not stepped on the scale since my relationship, and I definitely think that, like, you know my relationship was a little bit toxic it was definitely something that like i you know i'm really hurting still from it but at the same time i know that like there was a lot of really amazing things but there were also some things that like i i would just like push away the feelings that i would push away this little sensitivities that i would have i would push away but what i realized is like now when when trisha is alone and she is not spreading herself too thin she's not doing a relationship doing youtube doing her music videos doing like all of these things she can focus so much more on the inside and work to the outside and this is something that like if any of you guys are struggling focus on the inside before you work on the outside and what i mean by this is if you have a million things going on in your head shut it down do some meditation go to church do whatever is going to make you feel good and this is the crazy thing for me you guys because i am someone who does not really like organized religion but recently i found that for me like doing things that are gonna keep me off my phone out of my own head and as you guys know i have this huge cork board right here i'm working i still own my agency i still do youtube i took a month off recently after my you know i was going through like tumultuous relationship stuff and then got dumped and honestly for me like it was i had to take that out of the equation to take care of myself and i think if you are dealing with you know not being able to love yourself like sometimes people if they really are meant to be in your life they will come back around and you need to just like take a step back focus on yourself love yourself and just remember the universe is conspiring for your happiness and i want to repeat that for you so if you're watching this right now and you've got to this point please comment down below the universe is conspiring for your happiness and the reason i say this is because whatever you believe in whatever the universe is the world god allah um jesus whatever you believe in the universe is whatever you believe in okay it's your world your reality it's conspiring for you to be happy it's conspiring for you to be happy healthy deserving worthy smiling alive just it wants you to thrive so if you feel like you're not thriving you're not happy you're not healthy and you just aren't where you want to be take that step back and just see okay what do i need to do to get there and i had to do that for myself like uh, honestly i feel like trisha is 10 steps in front of me and 10 steps behind me at the same time in the sense of like you know we're in the same spot right now like i am not as happy with my body like i love my body and i'm not in the same place as her with the insecurities but like now we can both focus on ourselves. and if any of you guys are going through the same thing you guys know my breakup series is about to be bomb because i like i don't want you guys to think that you know your life is meant to be lived a certain way or breakups are supposed to be handled a certain way because in all honesty you guys i listened to i don't fucking care for like 30 seconds and i started thinking about him and i was gonna get, cry and then i was sad and then i listened to exo by eden last night and i was on a double date but like it wasn't really a double date because like i was just going with my friend brie, brie my best friend Her, she's dating this guy right now and he brought his friend because like i didn't want to be at home alone so like it wasn't really a double date but it was like a casual double date i guess and he was shorter than me so like if that tells you something like it wasn't really going to work out he was a really nice guy but 
EXO by Eden came on and no joke, I was like, ah, like this is so, this is exactly what he said to me, like all this shit. And I was so sad. And then I realized, you know, it's a healing process. And for her, she needs to heal from the inside out. And I think that's the smartest way to do it. I think that that's the best way for your own health and for your soul, your mind and your body. And you know, Trisha has so many amazing people in her life, you know, she, that care about her, love her. She has her family, she has her friends. She doesn't need him. And I think that for a lot of you, you feel alone. Just remember that there are so many people who care about you. There's so many people who wanna be there for you. And the first person that has to be there for you is yourself. You're the only person that can make that change that you want. No one else can change anything until you start making those changes. You have to change your reality in your head and your mindset before anything else can change. If you want to go to the gym and you want to fucking kick ass, you have to take that victim mentality out of your head and you have to go in there and think, I'm a fucking badass. I'm the strongest motherfucker in the gym. Like you have to think that way. And I think it's really hard for people because you just go in there and you're like intimidated by these awesome like people that are working out or you go you want to go to yoga but you're not flexible and you just have to let go of all of it and just you know so if any of you guys are struggling with this just remember focus on the inside and work on the outside i'm going to be making a whole nother video um, a little bit later on things that i've been doing to heal from this breakup and heal my life and change it and get this new chapter but i really love you guys i really care and I wanted to film this video because I was literally sitting on the toilet watching Trisha Paytas' video and I was on the toilet for like 20, not 20, yeah, probably 20 minutes because I watched like five minutes of Philip DeFranco and then I saw Trisha's video and I was like, I need to watch this. So I was on there for like 17 minutes. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about this because I felt like it was so important. I feel like it's something that I connect with. I'm going through right now and if you guys are dealing with something similar, I hope this helped you out. I, you know, if you want to send this to Trisha, feel free she's probably not gonna see it but that's totally fine because i feel like if this can help at least one person watching it that's all that matters i love you guys so much though and i will see you guys in my next video if you guys are having an amazing day don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you guys enjoyed don't forget to give it a thumbs up follow me on my instagram and i will see you guys all in my next video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys later bye babe